What's up, fire signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your weekly vibe. So let's get into this and see what's coming in for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the weekly vibes. So let's see what's coming in for y'all. Okay. Somebody is really, 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 really wanting to show you your worth, okay? It's what I'm seeing. They want to honor the God and goddess in you. And maybe this is because they also are God and God, God or goddess. And they can recognize that within you, okay? You guys can also have been honoring yourself. And that's the reason why this new love is coming in. And it's unexpected, y'all. I feel like y'all was getting comfortable in y'all little solitude or whatever. But this person going to make you see new perspectives of love, okay? I'm getting... Maybe in the past, the reason why y'all might have got content on y'all own is because people could have been offering a lot less than what it is that you actually deserve. And then they turn around and feel sorry for themselves when they lose out on you about that. Okay, this could even be somebody that tried to do that in the past. And now this person is getting out of a self-loathing energy. And they feel like they really owe you big time, okay? This person see that you like lavish things, okay? That you got mental power and intellect. And so maybe you gain lavish things on your own. So this person know that they got to try to match your fly when it come down to them trying to, you know, give to you, okay? So this person is thinking about things that you like, okay? Maybe they can be just, you know, I don't know. And this don't even have to be things like actual gifts. This can be like whatever, whatever you can think of. It's like this person want to come into your life and pretty much show you what they did in the first time, okay? And I know a lot of y'all don't want to go back to nobody, but this is definitely somebody that once felt sorry for themselves about messing up with you. Like, and instead of them feeling sorry for the fact that you had to be on the receiving end of their behavior, they was feeling sorry for themselves because they messed things up, okay? So, yeah. Love is the highest frequency, and I feel like that is you, okay? Because y'all been honoring yourself, and y'all been realizing who y'all are. Other people have been having a room to let you shine and see who you truly are too, okay? Sometimes when we be too up in people's face, they can't, you know, they can't. They can't see clearly. Rose tinted glasses, y'all, I'm telling you. They wouldn't do the same for you in the past, okay? This person feel like you got beautiful future, features. I'm sorry. But maybe you do got a beautiful future as well. And this person just realizes, like, you know what? I don't know what this person was, like, thinking. If they thought you had to use them for something or if you was lacking or if you was spiritually impoverished. But obviously, you guys have a nice destiny set up for you, okay? And this person is seeing, it, like, you are the type of person that come from an authentic place. So they could have pegged you completely wrong. And they realizing that, no, it's like, yo, your frequency is really high because you do come from a place of love. So it's like if this person was trying to make it seem like you was trying to, like, love bomb them or something like that, they realizing, like, no, that's actually just how you are, okay? And they feel like maybe you can leave the rest hanging because maybe you the type to be like, I ain't going back to the past. Once I move forward, that's it. This person, like, you know, say that for the rest of your exes, not me. Okay, chivalry isn't dead. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to tell you, whoever this is, it's like they really want to come in proving themselves. And their love language could be gifts, and that's the reason why this person feel like they got to, you know, buy you gifts and give you things. Or maybe that's something that they did for you, and now they feel like they owe you, or they just feel like... Unless I come in giving them the same energy that I asked for, then it ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yeah, this person gained the world at some point and lost their soul. They want their soul back, okay? They definitely do. They want to balance themselves out. They blame themselves for the things that happen now when it, at one point in time they blame you, okay? Now... The thing is, is that when they was blaming you, they could have been blaming you to other people too. So this could have been people talk. This could have been this person talking mad shit. All right. But now it's like when they come in, it's kind of like we got to keep it on a low because, you know, people already had the impression like this would be the situation where it's like you walk into the room and the room get quiet because it's like everybody know what this person said about you previously. 
no matter how hard they went on you, it's like people know things about you that you don't know that they know. Okay. Or people have things have been said to people that you don't, you don't know has been said. You get what I'm saying? Worth more than what they are offering. Y'all don't tell you. So it's like this person felt like you, you know, they was wrong for blaming you. They was wrong for blaming you. Okay. This person could have. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. All right. So you might have two energies, but one of them is not really here yet. Okay. But they here. They here. They just not in your energy. Like this may be somebody that, you know, you just now getting to know. So they not showing up in your readings yet, but. This person that's wanting to come up, come back and speak up out the blue is really because they want to compete with somebody else. They do. I don't want you to get too big headed. So I pretend not to care. Now this person going to do the opposite. I, you know what I think? I feel like they trying to replicate. Y'all, y'all know how we always get the female copycat. This is a male copycat. This is somebody that's a male copycat, okay? So this person going to try to replicate the energy of the person that newly came into your life recently. It's like everything this person been doing to have you all like giddy and back in your lovey energy and just all high vibrational. It's like they going to try to replicate that. So that's why Spirit is saying they wouldn't do the same for you and all of this other stuff. It's because in reality, they they wouldn't. Like, they might be putting that persona on because it's like, leave them so I can leave you again. Because I just don't want you to be with them. You know what I'm saying? But Spirit is saying, whatever it is that somebody currently doing for you, if somebody is spoiling you and, like, overly giving to you, and it's basically payback from the universe because maybe you've invested in two people that really wasn't showing you the same love back. Somebody about to come in giving way more than what you might even be comfortable receiving it might be like damn i'm not used to this like this kind of a lot but at the same time it's like the universe is looking at it like you deserve it, it like you gave a lot out you gave a lot out without getting it back in return for a long time so this is like back pay this is like retro pay it's like they reaching back in, in, in uh, 2019, all the way to 2019, and every person you crossed paths with, every donation you made, every time you stood for something or you advocated for something that was like a real good cause, it's like you getting that back now through one person. So imagine this person is coming in with like life-changing energy, okay? You know, so this is definitely somebody that want to come in and upgrade you. But now it's like somebody want to come in and try to see if they can, you know, keep up with somebody. It's like, okay, this is a sword fight. But with our credit cards, I see that, you know, so somebody is wanting to mock your person. And this is so crazy. This may be somebody that's from your past that has somebody else mocking you. So it's like, now we see why they did that. Because this person, this is the type of person that'll do that themselves. If they see you interested in somebody that will completely clone their energy to be like, why not me? I mean, we both the same. We both got the same energy signature. This person giving me sociopath vibes. Because the thing is, with sociopaths, they don't have the same, like, empathy and all of that kind of stuff, but they study people down to a science so that they can, like, know how to replicate that to the best of their ability. It's like, I may not have those feelings naturally, but, you know, I'm going, you know, once I find out who you in a relationship with, I'm going to stalk this person till I can't stalk them no more so I can come forth acting, you know, giving that same vibe so you can have a hard decision. You know what I'm saying? And this person is hoping that the history mixed with the fact that they kind of like uh, portraying this image that um, somebody else knew that's like really taking your interest has it's like they feel like okay i got the upper hand because not only am i gonna imitate this person's essence but I'm, i also got the history with them so naturally they're gonna feel more comfortable to come back to me this person don't know you do they fire signs because i feel like y'all ready to move on it's like y'all not holding on to that but that's the thing this person heard you say that they just don't believe it it's like yeah you say that <laughs> We'll see. Like, this person, like, we'll see. This person feel like they a master at um, mirroring energy. Like, being able to soak that shit up and, like, basically project it right out to you. Like, you know, it's like, damn. 
you sound exactly like my new person. And this is this person way, you know, of like getting your mind off of this person. It's like anything they can do, I can do it better. And you know me. So, but you don't really know this person because I feel like this person has done this to a lot of people. Maybe even the first version of them you met was somebody else's persona that they picked up. You know what I'm saying? Where they thought guys like this get the girl. So let me act like that guy. You know what I'm saying? And that didn't work for you. Now this person like, oh, now I see what worked for them. Okay, let me see. And scene. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? <laughs> you get this boy, you need a Grammy. Okay, let's see what's coming in for fire signs. Wow, that's crazy. Not for you. Oh my God, y'all. Spirit is speaking to y'all today. Can y'all see that? Not for you. The, the, uh, what you call it? This little cookie, fortune cookie. It says, nope. <laughs> like, literally, nope. And then it's like the window or the door, like some window of opportunity is gone or it never was open to begin with. Like this is basically a closed door, okay? So spirit is saying this is an eye-eye, like this person played chess and they do, they definitely do. Look at this, just how is this cookie on a chessboard? Somebody serving up a fortune cookie on a chessboard. So basically it's like this person playing chess. That's why they're trying to show you like some type of sweet side that don't belong to them. It's like, okay, I'm going to act exactly like your man since that's what you like. You know? Then I'm going to really turn up all the attributes about me that you already liked, you know? Before the deal breakers kicked in or the red flags. So let's see. But y'all, this person is playing chess, not checkers. Ooh, yeah, milk and honey, and they ain't got shit to offer you, or they ain't planning on it either. Like, all of this shit may be a game to this person. Like, this person may not even truly want you back. They just may not want you with anyone at all, okay? And, you know, this I don't know how many times this has happened, or if this is the first time you actually try to move on since this person and it's like, they want to take away the things that make you happy. It's like, they don't feel like you deserve this level of happiness. Okay? So, it's like, that. this is a ploy. It's just to lure you away from this person, get you to self-sabotage, and then dump you. Okay? This person don't plan on looking back. They don't. They really don't. They got less than, they got less than what you deserve, but they're going to try to play it off like they got just the right amount. Fork in the road is in reverse, so you finally chose the path, and this person want to make you second guess it. Y'all, because you guys finally figured out that it was time to go. That just as you was knocking and waiting at, at a door that was cemented closed, that it's also doors that God has that's open for you. You don't have to sit there and wait for something concrete to crumble it's like okay it's concreted the door is concreted closed the window of opportunity is gone that door is closed whoever this person is they too manipulative okay this person may dismantle things that you uh try to build for yourself or whatever the case is but it's like you may have thought that this person was somebody that you can build up okay maybe you thought that you can fix this person no they can't be fixed the only thing, the best thing that they would do is is lie to you and make you feel like that. So spirit don't want you to take a risk on this person or even open and back up this cycle because it took forever for it to close to begin with. Okay. Whew. Yeah. I'm telling y'all. person don't know how protected you are like y'all get messages rather they dream messages or what y'all know what's real you know it's like even if that's not living proof enough like you may have never confronted this person about the things that you know if that's if y'all figured it out okay because some of y'all may know yeah y'all the star now you know y'all people wish fulfillment people miss you you know people from your past miss you i feel like even more than this person this person could be an energy signature of people that you was attracting but they don't have what it takes it's like they bring a sense of imbalance into your life and spirit don't want you waiting on these individuals anymore okay yeah eight of cups in reverse they don't have what it takes to offer you somebody here may lose their temper 
somebody here may lose their temper when you don't like give that give them that emotional availability or when you tell them like you got somebody this person may even offer to be on the side because i really just feel like they want to mess it up for you okay this would be somebody that would literally like hit your person up like dm them like you see <laughs> i still got them like they they, they ain't went nowhere yeah, this person trying to eliminate who they feel is the third party, but really they the third party lingering up in y'all energy. Okay, y'all two of cups. This new person coming in is definitely y'all two of cups. Like, y'all may be starstruck. Like, this person may be fine, handsome, have a lot of star power. They may be very healing. Okay, they could be very spiritual. It's like, even if y'all are, and y'all normally the ones giving out advice, this person may be the type <clears throat> that would really, like, you know give you advice on top of that advice like how like give you the other half of what you missing okay yeah but two of cups y'all feeling each other on some yin and yang shit okay y'all feeling it and so i don't feel like really like this person that's why i said the door opportunity is closed because what the past person don't get is that even if they just not finding out about this person this may not be something that's completely and 100 new like you might have got some months in on this person already all right but yeah, y'all in disbelief about this person. This person is not healed. Whoever this is that wants to come back after a period of ghosting you or whatever the case is, they just want to interrupt your shit. Okay, yeah. This person may like call you while you're taking a bath, a bubble bath, okay, or while you FaceTiming your new person, okay? But I'm just getting a, a state of relaxation. So you could be like in the middle of meditating or taking a bath and i feel like it's good that it's happening that way because maybe if it's a missed call y'all won't call it back okay it's kind of like damn what the hell they wanted like it's crazy that they called me while i was in the bath or it's crazy that they called me while i was meditating okay but some of y'all might be right in the midst of taking like a spiritual bath actually okay or a self-love bath and it's kind of like y'all in a in the process of like visualization you know maybe even visualizing your future i just feel like the person that's coming in is such a dream they are i'm not trying to come off like unrealistically but you know again everybody got their own ideal person and i feel like for you this person do it for you like they do it for you because i just see y'all like laid back in the spiritual bath just kind of like just feeling like hell yeah <laughs> so it's like again y'all not trying to mess this up but somebody think that you will somebody think that you'll self-sabotage keep in mind with cloning like maybe this person even trying to cloak uh themselves in your person's energy to get in your energy like in a dream state in a 5d you know what i'm saying so yeah it's kind of like yeah make sure when y'all doing y'all can do y'all little self-love bath during this moon phase but make sure y'all get y'all one in there for protect for protection as well and intercede on this connection okay so let's see Ooh, okay y'all <laughs> i just i i don't know why but it seemed like it seemed almost every single time i see the six of swords in reverse it's like ain't no sunshine when she gone and she always gone too long every time she she goes away this person try she they trying to block you okay so they strictly want to see you in person or get an opportunity with you because what they really trying to do is like project some energy that's going to block this connection that's going to keep you from seeing a potential that's going to make you be too uncomfortable with this person's generosity and make you question their true motives when their motives are good their motives are universally aligned with what's due for you right now okay so yeah it's like whoever this is they still haven't healed a damn thing i mean this person could be literally stuck on a past person and that's why it never works out or why this person only ever comes back temporarily because this person is stuck on somebody else that's competing with you and like i said they may just be the clone couple because it seemed to me like they want to be divine so bad okay it's like this masculine want to be a divine masculine the feminine energy that clone you want to be a divine feminine and you and your bae y'all already together okay y'all already match made y'all i told you this person want to get up in your dream state so they may even be trying to clone your person energy not just on a physical realm but in a spiritual realm it's like yeah i'm gonna connect to you in your dream state so i can re-embed my energy 
reinvent like embed my energy into your space again so that I can be able to cause illusions that have you seeing this person from a distorted view so you can miss another opportunity. So yeah, y'all definitely watch the heck out and then don't be so interactive with exes that you know you don't want back. I know some of y'all want to let the person know like, yeah, I'm doing just fine, fine, fine. But you know what? They know. They know. <laughs> they peeping. Trust me. They know. You don't have to say a damn thing. Your energy speaks for itself. And even if this person never ever saw you again, face to face, trust to believe me, this person is staying up to date on your life. And they know you're doing better. They know you're doing just fine. So just keep in mind that there's many, many ways that people can project energy onto you. And a lot of people, they use the phone as a way, as a means to get in your energy, take your energy, get into your energy you know, and it's kind of steal your essence. So this person already trying to do that with your person, but they desperately want to be divine, okay? <laughs> All right, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.